Hi everyone, Julie here with Whole Choice Living. I'm back with another video here in the kitchen. Um, and I'm talking about just getting back to scratch, right? Making things from scratch, not having to buy things at the store. And I know we don't have time, not everyone has time for all of that, but I wanted to start with some um, things that we usually buy at the store that we can easily just quickly make ourselves. And one of those things is a salad dressing. Salad dressings are usually loaded with unhealthy fats, um, usually soybean oil, canola oil, all these other fats that have been um, um, oxidized and they're usually um, non-GMO and so not a great not a great base to start with. So I'm going to show you a quick and simple recipe. You can make it really quickly. Um, and it's a vinaigrette. Okay, I'm going to have another video where we make um, like a Caesar dressing, and that's going to have a cashew base. So your salad dressings are usually always going to have a fat or an oil and a, an acid. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. This is a great place to start with any of your dressings. This is basically the healthiest fat there is for you. Um, so we're going to use a half a cup, and it's one, cu um, one part oil to one part acid. So I'm going to put in a half a cup of olive oil. And then for my acid, I'm using apple cider vinegar, but I'm using my fire cider that I made. So it's going to have a little bit of a, um, like a little bit of a kick to it. So this is a half a cup Making sure I'm measuring right here. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar, but again, it is actually my fire cider that I made. Okay, and I make that in one of my classes at my workshop um, for helping with, uh, this is a great thing to include my, my uh, saliva. <laughs> starting to, my mouth is starting to water just smelling it. Um, super great. It has onions and garlic and horseradish and... Um, what else? Lemons, a whole bunch of different things to boost your immunity. So great thing to have on hand. So we're going to use fire cider. And then it's going to use nutritional yeast. So this is nutritional yeast. Okay. Um, I would call this a booster food. It's super high in vitamin B12. Great for um, people that are vegetarian that aren't eating a lot of meat because that's where you get your vitamin B12. And it's three tablespoons. Nutritional yeast has kind of like a cheesy flavor. It's really good as a substitute for that. And then a teaspoon of salt. I use uh, sea salt. And then four cloves of garlic. Pull those out. If you didn't have garlic, you know, if you had garlic powder, you could use that too. But um, use what you have on hand. These are really big. I'm going to use these two. I'm going to have to cut that one. So um, I got my garlic press here. I love it. Uh, you could just uh, slice it up if you wanted, but I, I tend to like garlic presses. One of those gadgets is nice to have in the kitchen. Okay. These are massive. I'm going to have to cut these up. They won't fit in my garlic press. They're too big. Uh -oh. Okay. Two. Three. You could also add other seasonings to this. This one's just pretty basic. But if you have fresh herbs or if you have like, like an Italian seasoning mix, you can add that. Make it an Italian dressing. Any, any kind of herbs. Remember, it's, it's fun to play in the kitchen. Okay, and then I'm going to actually add some, a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Not a lot because, again, I'm using that fire cider, which is going to have a little bit of a kick a lot bit of a kick to it. And then I'm going to blend it up. Whisk it up. And then I'm going to store it. 
in a jar. I am a recycler. Um, so this was a syrup jar, okay? I tend to keep my glass jars because it's less that goes in the landfill. We take care of our earth, right? Okay, and then I'm just going to pour it right in here. And I will store this in the refrigerator. It might solidify a little bit, so if you're going to use it, um, but it'll probably be fine on the, sh on the counter too because you have the apple cider vinegar in there. Um, so maybe I'll just store it on the, on the counter. But there it is. Quick, easy. Didn't take us much time, did it? And they're probably ingredients that you have at home. Maybe not the nutritional yeast. You can find that in usually um, more on the health food sections. Um, yeah, you can also buy it online. So Bragg's is the um, brand I tend to buy in the grocery store. So there we go. Simple. We have olive oil, apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast, uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. And there we go. That's super tasty. And um, put it on anything. You could actually dip, um, dip things in this as well if you wanted. So there we go. Simple, easy, and uh, I hope you enjoy.